hi guys and welcome back to another video so yeah in this video i'm going to be talking about five first time watches for me in the month of november 2022 so yeah again these are just sort of five older movies shall we say that i've i picked out and i watched for the first time uh this month in november 2022 so yeah that being said I'm gonna get straight into it and yeah just talk about these five movies i watched for the first time so the first one i picked out for me was a movie with james belushi and i'd seen um a few youtubers talk about this film and i hadn't seen it and wanted to check it out and that is radioactive um i really dug this movie really had a great time with it and yeah it was just it was fantastic it was sort of like like this this sci-fi time traveling movie that met this sort of modern day western um that's probably the best way i can describe it and i've got to say james belushi stole the show for me in this movie he was absolutely off the hook and just gave a fantastic performance in it he's also in the next movie that i've picked as well um but yeah this one for me was just a ton of fun by no means a masterpiece or anything like that it's a solid maybe six seven out of ten but my word, he was just riveting in this movie and he was just he was just such a joy to watch. So entertaining. I love it when these sort of these these famous actors give off this sort of off the hook performance, which just goes against type. And yeah, this one was um, this one was no exception. Absolutely really dug his performance in this movie. If you can't tell, really enjoyed it and just had a fun time with Radioactive. So yeah, that's my first pick, Radioactive. The second film I got was also another one with James Belushi. Now, this one I was a bit more familiar with, having seen the poster everywhere. Maybe it was on TV and I, I maybe caught a few seconds of it, but I'd never actually seen the movie in full up until this month. And that is K9. Yep, never seen the movie before up until this November. And again, it was a lot of fun. James Belushi was, of course, you know, the main star of the movie. I thought it was going to be like this Turner and Turner and Hooch type movie, which it kind of sort of is, this cop and this dog. Um, the the ending's like sort of really heartbreaking, shall we say. It's nowhere near the the, the lines of Marley and Me, but um, my word, the movie the movie went somewhere I didn't expect it to. But yeah, it uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's another one of these sort of throwaway early 80s, uh, late 80s, early 90s type of movie that is just, you know, it's a it's a buddy cop drama um, movie, obviously, but with a dog. And yeah, I had fun with it. Um, that's all I can really say about it. I'm glad I've seen it. Um, I'll probably watch it again sometime down the line. But yeah, for now, it's one that stood out this month and I had fun with this movie. So yeah, that is K9. Now, next up was a movie that I remember seeing the trailer for um, on a VHS I had for another movie, um, I think from Universal at the time. It may have, may have been one of the Jurassic Parks. Um, but yeah, this stars Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, Donald Sutherland. And I, the, I thought the movie looked great from the trailer. Um, and then I went on IMDb and I looked at the score and the score was terrible. Um, I think it had a 4.9 or a 5 out of 10. And yeah, I've got to say, I, I wanted to give the movie a go. And I enjoyed this movie, guys. I really, really did. And that is Virus. I had I had a blast with this film. Um, you know, definitely not the best film ever made. But my God, I thought this movie was so much fun. Really, really dug this movie. I really enjoyed the design of like the alien slash creature whatever it is in this film and the way he sort of combines himself with like the other characters in this film it reminded me of like a really violent version of the Borg from Star Trek and yeah I, I've got to admit guys it's a flawed movie definitely but I was entertained I had fun with it and it stuck out with stuck out to me um and yeah I just I can't recommend the movie enough I, it's definitely not for everyone but it's one I'm glad to have seen, and it was definitely worth the 90 minutes or whatever runtime it had for me. Glad I got invested in it, and glad I checked it out. And yeah, that's all I can really say about it. So yeah, that is Virus. 
Now, these last two movies I've got, these were uh, recommended to me by my good friend Keith over at Euphoria Pictures. Uh, we did a live stream together a couple of weeks ago when these two movies came up and I was out of blank when um, the titles got mentioned. Um, and yeah, so the first one I checked out was Visiting Hours. Uh, this was also recommended by Mike over at Cinema Axeman as well. And yeah, this stars Michael Ironside and William Shatner. Um, that alone got my uh, got my attention, shall we say? And yeah, just really, really wanted to check this movie out. And yeah, it's it's not perfect, but for what it is, it's fun. It's just sort of like a slasher movie that takes place in this hospital. It's basically Halloween two without Michael Myers. And yeah, I had I had a blast with it. I've got to say, it was fun. Um, like I said, not perfect in its execution. But I do have to admit, I had fun with it. And Michael Ironside is always a joy to watch on screen. Whatever he's in, um, he can save a movie for me, um, even if it's terrible. Um, and William Shatner is always fun as well. Um, so, yeah, it was mainly the cast that sort of won me over in this and the premise. Uh, I don't think the execution was fully there, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. So, yeah, that is Visiting Hours. And the last movie I've picked for this month was uh, another movie that Keith mentioned and he said the title of this film and it just went straight off my head. I, I, I had to admit, I'd never heard of it. Um, found it on eBay. It was quite difficult to get hold of, but it was there on eBay and I picked it up on DVD. And yeah, it's a John Hughes movie and that is Dutch. Um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it goes by a different title here in the UK. I think it's called Driving Me Crazy or something like that. And yeah, Keith really sold me on this because I'm a big John Hughes fan. Um, even, you know, just just uh, his dialogue and his writing, I think, was superb. Um, I do think he kind of lost his way a bit in the 90s. Um, but, yeah, this is one that, that that really, really sort of stuck out to me when watching it. I had, I had fun with this film. Um, but, yeah, I've got to say, Ed O'Neill was superb in it. The actor that plays the kid, um, I forget his name, Ethan Randall. That's it. Um, I'm not a big fan of him he's done some good films i've enjoyed he's in the guest um he's in that thing you do um i hated him in empire records i do not like that film at all um but yeah i watched him in this he is a complete fucking knob in this movie but i think he has to be for the movie to work the kid he's just such a fucking blur in this film that but the movie won't work if he if he isn't because the characters have to have that story arc but yeah, he is just an annoying little fuck in this movie, and I just, I just wanted to, I wanted to just to knock him out. He was just, he was just winding me up when I was watching it. But as I said, that's a testament to the movie. Um, he doesn't sort of cross the line into being annoying, but he is very, very insufferable. That's just the character. He's a character you love to hate, just with some of the things he says. But. Ed O'Neill's the saviour of this movie as well. He's just he's just brilliant. I think what sort of distance distance it for me from a John Hughes film was definitely had the John Hughes dialogue and the setting, but it just wasn't didn't feel like a John Hughes cast. You know, when I think of John Hughes movies, I think of like the Brat Pack and you know John Candy, uh, Macaulay Culkin, those types of those type of actors. But yeah, it still it still worked for me. I still had fun with it. It was uh, it was a sort of a it was it was still a breath of fresh air as it was. But yeah, that's that again. That's all I can really say about it. It was fun, not perfect, but definitely uh, definitely one that stuck out to me this month. Um, so yeah, that is Dutch. So yeah, guys, bit of a short video this one. This is just me talking about you know the five uh, first time watches for me, and this just happened to be the month of November. So, yeah, going to leave it there, guys, and say thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.